Jagdeep Dhankar was on August 11th sworn in as the 14th Vice President of India. He was administered oath of office by President Draupadi Murmu at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, former President Ram Nath Kovind, former Vice President Venkaiah Naidu, Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla and several other leaders were present at the oath taking ceremony. Dhankar was elected as the Vice President on August 6th, securing 74.36% votes, defeating opposition's Margaret Elva to emerge as the winner. Around 151 police personnel have been awarded the Union Home Minister's Medal for Excellence in Investigation for 2022. Out of the total personnel receiving these awards, 15 are from CBI, 11 are from Maharashtra Police, 10 each from MP Police and UP Police, 8 each from Kerala Police, Rajasthan Police and West Bengal Police, and the remaining from other states and union territories. The list of awardees across the country is announced on August 12th every year. Author Salman Rushdie was stabbed at an event in New York on August 12th. The attack occurred when Rushdie was about to give a speech in which around 2500 people were present. His agent said that the 75-year-old author had suffered nerve injury in an arm and damage to his liver, also that he could lose an eye. Meanwhile the police have identified his attacker as Hadi Matar from New Jersey who's 24 years old a british citizen of indian origin Salman Rushdie has been living in the US for the past 20 years notably he has faced threats for decades over his 1988 book The Satanic Verses Jandal Dal United leader Nitish Kumar took oath as Bihar's chief minister again on August 10th after leaving the NDA alliance and joining hands with Rashtriya Janata Dal and other opposition parties this is the eighth time that he took oath as the state cm rjd's tejasvi yadav took oath as the deputy cm they were administered oath of office by governor fagu chauhan meanwhile bjp leaders and supporters have slammed nitish kumar for his betrayal The anti-terror squad of Uttar Pradesh police on August 12th arrested an alleged terrorist linked to Jaish-e-Mohammed. Accused Mohammed Nadeem is said to be a native of Kunda Kala village under Gangoh police station area in Saharanpur district. The police have recovered chats and voice messages from Nadeem's phone and these messages have been traced to Pakistan and Afghanistan. The UP police have booked him under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. In a major relief to Nupur Sharma, the Supreme Court on August 10th agreed to her request to club all the police cases against her so that she does not have to defend herself in different states. FIRs have been filed against Nupur Sharma in multiple states over her remarks. She had asked the Apex Court to club them. Notably, the judges agreeing to hand all cases to the Delhi police said that they have considered their threats to Sharma. The North East has got its first remote pilot training school in Guwahati. The Assam Electronics Development Corporation Limited has joined hands with Edurate, a startup incubated at IIT Guwahati and IIM Calcutta Innovation Park for the project. The school will have trainers certified by the Directorate General of Civil Aviation for conducting the pilot license training program. The facility has been set up at Tech City in Guwahati. The flying ground will be at the Assam Forest School in Jalukbari. Uttarakhand CM Pushkar Singh Dhami on August 9th participated in a Tiranga rally organized under the Har Ghar Tiranga campaign at Gandhi Park in Dehradun. People are very enthusiastic. The Har Ghar Tiranga campaign will reach 20 lakh families, he said speaking on the occasion. The Har Ghar Tiranga initiative is being held from 13 to 15 August wherein the government has urged people to hoist the tricolor atop their homes. Pakistan foreign currency reserves have fallen to 7.83 billion US dollars which is the lowest since 2019. As per the data released by the State Bank of Pakistan, the country's foreign reserves have dropped by USD 555 million or 6.6% on a weekly basis due to increased debt payments and a lack of external financing this month. Pakistan's foreign currency reserves stood at USD 8.385 billion a week earlier on August 5. 
Former U.S. President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home in Florida was searched by FBI agents on August 9th. As per reports, they are said to have removed 11 sets of classified documents, including some marked as top secret and meant to be only available in special government facilities. Meanwhile, Trump has denied any wrongdoing and has said that the items were declassified. Notably, this is the first time a former president's home has been searched in a criminal probe.